Hi everyone, welcome to another KDIM demo. Uh, today we have a couple of new features to showcase to you. So let's get started. Um, here is the sign in page for KDIM. If you don't have an account, um, you can go to sign up and this is going to take you to our sign up page. We ask for your Discord tag uh, just because uh, we use Discord for automatic notifications when your asset is um, done processing. So let's go back and let's sign in. So this is the dashboard. This is what you see uh, when you first enter the app. Um, and let's go ahead to the create page where the magic happens. Okay, perfect. So um, here is our create page. You can upload from one up to six images of the same object or um, character or concept art that you wish to turn into 3D. Now let's go over here to the right. We have some options. Uh, the first option is the high detail option. Uh, when you allow that, when you enable that, essentially it um, allows for two things. The first is for more time for processing and the second is uh, a manual quality control that makes sure that all of the possible detail from the input is captured in the output. Mirrored, make sure that your, your output is 100% symmetrical if that's uh, what you intend. And then finally, the upper limit poly count is your chance to set um, the quality of your output. When you select high detail, this automatically becomes 50,000 instead of 20. And when you deselect, it goes back to 20. So let's go ahead. Let's do a couple of tries. So let's go with that little monster first. We're going to press generate. Okay, perfect. So this is processing. You don't need to wait here. You can actually go and upload more things uh, for processing. So we're going to do that. Let's now do a multiple image input of a car and let's have that be 8,000 maximum. So let's uh, generate. And finally, let's also do this miniature. Um, I'm going to actually say that this is going to be high detail um, and I want to set that to 25K. So let's go. Okay, so fast forward to a couple of minutes later, we can see that uh, two out of three have been completed. So we just opened up our first asset. We can view it in the full uh, screen view as well. So let's view this in um, full screen mode and let's go through some options here. We can uh, rotate it, we can download it. Uh, but most importantly, let me introduce you to our new feature, the editing slash iteration functionality. So here you can describe something that you would like edited in your model if um, the generation was not 100% what you expected or if there was a part that needs um, a correction. So essentially here I can go ahead and say add hung. Uh, and I can even circle the part of the model that um, represents my edit and press confirm. So my iteration is now processing. Uh, and when it's done, I can see here that in this view, there is an extra arrow that you can press. And essentially that shows you the edit with your description. So this model here has the tongue added um, in our little monster. Um, we can view that in wireframe mode as well. And again, download in all available formats. So that's that. Let's go ahead and view our other generations. So we had our car, low poly car with multiple Im input images. Here is the output. Again, you can view that in a wireframe mode. We fixed our 3D viewer to display in quads, which is how our models are actually generated. And then finally, let's go look at our little miniature. This is a high poly, high detail generation. Um, let's go ahead and see what parts is made of. As you can see here, we have this little um, coloring tool that actually lets you select all of the different parts of the model. And these parts are also uh, kept on download. Cool. So that's that. That's our um, new demo. Hope you enjoyed it. See you all soon.